Okay guys, uh, this is where the uh, book selling area is here. It's a kind of unique place, like I said. So I'll show you where it's at after I get this done. But anyhow, uh, here's what I sold. I got about 30 books and some were popping at 20, $30. So uh, I got about, probably about, oops, my fingers in the way. I probably got about 200 in profit. That's net profit using the Scout IQ. That's what I got. Okay, so anyhow, back behind me, you can see the uh, see those big bins full of books. Okay, let's go take a look. Let's take a look at them. So basically, those are the bins of books, and you just have to go through them step by step. You, it's all you can do. I mean, they're huge. So I only spent like an hour and a half uh, doing that. And uh, that's what I found was 30. I probably could have stuck around and probably gotten 50, but it's a lot of work. So uh, anyhow, that's what you do. You gotta dig for books, get them into FBA. Hey everybody, Mike, I'm back again. Just uh, getting those books all squared away. I think I got about 27 or 30 books. I did a quick count, um, and uh, you saw those big bins. There were about, uh, there were four other guys of me, five total. Some of these other guys are more FBM, fulfilled by merchant guys, looking for you know, higher, I don't know, higher end, but older books, so to speak. Not my game, I just don't, I'm not good enough at it yet, so uh, they do use, uh, some do use the scanners. But uh, they are also looking for uh, books that move for a little bit bigger price. So they'll leave you behind a lot of four and five dollar profit books. Basically, that it's free there. I mean, it's like by the time you're done, a dollar, two dollars. That's that's all you pay. It's like nothing. So it's free. So you know, it's a good source for me to pick up. You know, uh, enough books to uh, fill my shipment I have some uh, more high priced ones at home uh, but I was waiting to get some more books so now I have you know enough books probably about 40 45 books to go in and that's a good thing so uh, I did pick a couple I did pick this one guy's brain he'd been doing it for five years and he, he was just giving me some general pointers which I kind of already knew but he said the one thing I'm gonna have to watch out for is those storage fees when they come due uh, and I, I kind of knew that, so that's going to be an interesting play, how that works out. I really need to know if anybody else out there is doing that. If they've had experience with it, let me know. You know, uh, put a comment down, whatever, if you feel like it. Uh, or, or direct me to some place. I know there's a lot of videos. I'm going to have to read some more, watch some more. I think it's uh, Caleb. I think he, he's got some ideas about that. Reezy Resales, those guys, I'll, I'll, I'll look at a few more of their videos. But it's a, it, that's an interesting little place. It works out for me. I can always like snag 20, 30. I probably could have stuck around there all day and went through every one of them bins down to the bottom end. And uh, that would have been, you know, pretty crazy. I might have picked up 30, 40, 50 books more, could, depending, but it would have been a lot of work. So I had a meeting to go to, so I, I cut it out short. And that was a pretty good haul as far as the size of the bins. They had four of those big bins there. Usually it's about two, so it was, it was pretty large. And then uh, what was funny was I, I did something. I, I was, you know, you get in the habit of flipping things, and I, I saw this one said insanity, and I flipped it into the other bin. I didn't, kind of like I didn't want it. And the guy who was five years experience picked it up. And it was a set of Insanity DVDs, you know, like 10 or 13. And and he took it. He kept it. I didn't think it was kind of cool, but whatever. He kind of said, hey, you made a mistake, which I thought I did. I thought it was a book. But, you know, when you throw it in the air, you realize what you have thrown. And I was like, oh, no, that's not good. So, anyhow, he kept it. No big deal. It's uh, anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks. So, it's like me throwing a $20 bill through the air. And, and he got it. That's all comes with experience right I gotta I gotta be more cautious a little sometimes you get into a rhythm gotta slow down that kind of thing uh, you know so you don't just keep doing that but anyhow I was gonna tell you about how that that whole system works so remember we were talking about rideshare reselling 
So that's how it works. I got a ride this morning all the way up there into San Francisco, which paid me like $70. And it's only like maybe 10, 15 minutes away from where I need to go for the books. So I swung the back to the books, figuring that I'm gonna fill up here. And those books are about $200 worth of net profit. That's gonna be net profit after I sell them. That's if I sell them, I understand, I gotta sell them. But I only try to pick up books, generally speaking, a million uh, rank, million sales rank. I, I'm a little pickier, unless it's really a valuable book, then I'll, then I'll grab it, or and it has a longer sales rank. So uh, it works out really good. That's the art of it. That's what I'm talking about. Why not make money going up and then make money going back and also make money doing the thrifting, the books, the book reselling, and so forth. So that's how I work. And it works out beautiful. Just for a classic example, remember the other morning I talked about how I picked up just two books for $4. And I mean, it's like five minutes away. I had dropped the passenger off, went and picked up these two books. They were $4, two bucks each. I just sold one of those books for $29. No questions asked, boom, 29 bucks. So I made probably a net of 20 for five minutes, five minutes. So that's how it works, you know. You just gotta, you gotta keep hustling, figuring out where to go, how to go, and it, it just kind of works out. It's a beautiful little thing. I love how it works, you know. And when it works, it's a lot of fun because like you just can't beat it. And uh, you know, like I said, uh, I got really lucky this morning and sold uh, those pair of Ferragamo shoes for two hundred forty-nine dollars plus nineteen dollars shipping. And I paid $17.50 for those. There were three pairs. Two of them were Ferragamos. One were Mark Tashi. I can't. I can't say the name. Uh, brand new. And uh, so I was really stoked this morning because I don't sell a lot of clothes, so clothes or shoes, and I'm not into it that much. So I, I need to be, but it, it's there's so much on my plate right now, and it, it's just gonna come with time. And then I stopped on the way back and I got a radio, so I got that, and now I'm off to my meeting. So anyhow, just wanted to say uh, thanks for watching. See what I can get in the afternoon today, and uh, I'll keep you informed. Again, if you like the video, give it a like. Hey, subscribe. All this is gonna help. I just wanna keep going. I wanna keep showing people, try to, try to figure out, hey, this is how it is, guys. You can do it. So anyhow, thanks again, and uh, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Hey everybody, all right, Mike, rideshare reseller back again. End of the day, so I usually go over some stuff with you. And uh, you know, I'm over here, I always end up at my Savers last store. I had a couple items. Today was medium item day. So I did good on the books. I, I, I added up the books and my books did come out to a $200 net profit if I sell them all. That's if I sell them all. Uh, there's some a lot of good rank in there, so I should do okay with those. All right, first up, right out the gate from Sabers filters for a camera. These are Sony. These are good ones. They're a little hard to find, and there's a guy trying to sell some for 139. So this is between 50 and 100, 50 and 100, and you can see it was 299. So this is a this is a good one. So that's a good little. You know, they don't, what I love about this, I make as much off of this as I do sometimes a VCR. And I, you know, VCRs are bulky, so forth and so on. You know, I love selling these all day. This is a great deal. All right, next up from the Goodwill. Goodwill. Another car radio. Let's turn it around. Car radio, Volkswagen. And I pay. $4.99. So that's a, those are always pretty good. They might take a while sometimes, but there's always about $40 to $50 worth of profit in these if they're the right ones. So this is about a $79 one. So that shouldn't be too bad. That one shouldn't be too bad. All right, up next uh, is this little, this is a little vintage. Uh, can you see the name on it? the name right there okay tesoro just ten ten tensor tensor a little vintage lamp 
Um, very clean, just needs a little bit of cleanup with some Brasso. Uh, paid $4 at Savers. This guy will net me about $20 to $25 net. Uh, they're all different price ranges, but I'm going to put it on there to sell it, you know, move it. Some guys with 40, that kind of stuff. But it's interesting, you know, so look for little vintage lights. You know, you can tell by, uh, you know, the weight of it and so forth and so on. It's metal, not plastic. So look for these. Look for those. Up next, let's take a look. Oh, a couple of real smalls, but here's one. Donkey Kong, huh? Donkey Kong? <laughs> Donkey Kong hat. Too funny. But I, it was a green tag, so it was 20% off. It's like $279. Uh, a couple sold for $15.99 and $19.99. So you know, it should be okay. It should be an okay uh, item to sell. You know, hey, you need these sometimes. You need the little guys to come through too. Uh, they have to, you know, you have to have them sell also. 10, 20, 30, 40, all of them. Just keep moving them. Keep it moving. Now, this one was my. Is it, since I'm going to ship in some books, I, I was trying to find a game or two to try to put in with my Amazon. And here's what I found. Okay, Perfect Partners. Uh, I paid $349, and it tells me that I will make $875 profit from Amazon, and I can sell it. So this is going to go in with my books, and let's you know see what happens. I'm, I'm now looking more... For some of this stuff to see if I'm ungated in certain areas. There were a couple Milton Bradley games still gated, can't get it, but I'm still going to keep trying. So this will be going with my books, and it's the 97,000 rank, so it's not bad. So it should sell, should sell. Um, what else do I have? Oh, I got one. Got a nice little uh, vest here. Uh, it's. Refrigiware, Refrigiware, it's kind of just for refrigerator guys. And I paid like $5. I paid you know, $4.79, $25, so a few bucks here. You know, I'm just trying to get things when things are slow, find some decent items that I can move and make some money with, especially clothes. I'm trying to learn that. So I'm looking for unique stuff, unique brands. This one is Refrigiware. Interesting. So I'm going to put that up one for sale. And then I got a cool t-shirt. I like the graphics. So I know a lot of the guys, Rally Roots, all of them like graphics. So, you know, that's what I went for on this one. Uh, graphic is pretty dang cool. Joker with some dice. And the back has a lot of graphic on it too. There's the back. And it is a... Uh, Pepe, Pepe jeans out of London. I paid two seventy nine, so it should be a no brainer. I mean, it'll sell. I'll probably get fifteen to nineteen maybe for it in that range. Just guessing. Uh, another you know small item, but doesn't take up a lot of room, and just keep it rolling kind of thing. We'll see when I get home. Best item though is last. Always last, right? Okay. Was that Salvation Army? I'm learning to go into the Salvation Army area where they have what they call they're a little more expensive or they're trying to, I think they're, they're trying to protect it a little bit more. So I saw this jacket. Check it out. Check that jacket out. Isn't that cool? Wild, huh? It's extra, extra large, but it's by a company called Muse. And Muse is out of, um, let me show you the tag if you can see it. Okay, Muse. Muse is out of, they only have, they're a boutique. They only have three stores, Nashville, New Orleans, and Memphis. And they sell to movie stars, rock stars, that kind of thing. So this is a entertainer's type jacket. And it has the, the price on it of $295, $295. New tag, uh, I think it's made in Italy. Very cool uh, jacket. And I paid 25, but I had a coupon for 25% off, so it came out to 18 bucks. So 18 bucks, and uh, that's gonna be a, uh, you know, maybe a long haul. Who knows? I don't know. You know, I'm gonna put it up. 
I'm gonna put up for a little more price on it. It's 295. There's some other knockoff type type ones, but I'm hoping that somebody who knows Muse is going to grab it. You know that kind of thing. Uh, I'm thinking I can get 149 for it, about half the price. If I can do that, I'll be extremely happy. So, you know, overall I didn't get a lot of the big electronic stuff today. So I was, you know, and I, but I did not hit my three main stores. I did not get there. I had a meeting that kind of messed everything up as far as where I was. Uh, I tried to get back there, uh, but like I said, I don't force it. If I can't get back there, then it's just not meant to be, and I, I do the next day. So I just keep ride sharing around, and wherever that takes me is, is my pattern. So overall, hey, you know, $200 worth of books, and probably here, you know, another two to $300 easy. So probably a $400 day in profit if it all sells, and hopefully it all will, excuse me. But, you know, great day. You know, keep the faith, keep positive, and uh, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, again, give me the thumbs up and, uh, you know, subscribe. I'm going to keep putting content out there, guys. So, hey, thanks again. Have a good night. Go Warriors.